game where your guys just gutted it out today. Maybe you didn't have their best up, but wow, what does it say about your club? Well, it's, it's say that they've got a lot of character and and they wanted to win. I mean, they, you could tell there wasn't a lot of energy out there. We didn't have a lot of push in their zone. Uh, we were pretty opportunistic when we had to be. Um, but when you're laying your body out for shots after shots and and doing that stuff, it, you know you got a team that uh, is really wants to win. What do you think you've learned mostly about this team during this road trip here? Um, that they're a determined group, I think, is is first off, and then uh, and that I've got confidence in playing all four lines in any situation. That's uh, what came out of that. If you look at the ice times today, I think Fair's line might have played the most. Mm -hmm. You know, and uh, uh, and that's good. Whether you score or whether you don't, if you you do positive things for the team, and you have that four line mentality and six defense mentality, I think you can you can do a lot of damage. You talked about Eric's next response the other night. Was it nice to see him get rewarded finally? I was really happy for him. I mean. Uh, he works so hard and wants it so much that uh, uh, for him to score, uh, it's whether it's an open net or whether it's from a foot out, it doesn't matter. I mean, it, uh, I'm sure it was the same as when Nino scored. It's a lot of uh, uh, relief. Uh, how uh, cool was it to see that Sealer kind of had the last laugh there uh, with Perron? I mean, kind of goaded him into a penalty uh, for the for really the final 10 minutes of the game. And you know what? It's usually the other way around because I've coached David, and he's very good at um, being an annoyance and, and drawing penalties. And I'm sure that's what he tried to do when they both went off. And but you know, it didn't it didn't work to for him tonight. How gratifying was this stretch just, you know, for the team to kind of find a group, but then to see it pushed you quite up the standings quite a bit. Yeah, well, you know, it's uh, still November, but uh, uh, the further you can get above 500 uh, is because everybody goes through something of some sort, whether it's injuries, whether it's a downward uh, part of the schedule that makes it tough for you, the uh, it, it happens, so to get that little um, cushion is, is really important. I mean, it's something we never had last year because we started out, you know, uh, very mediocre. And so we grinded and grinded. And the year before, we had a gr good cushion when we had a bad month of March. So it worked out for us. And that, that's what you want to do. A Coach couple years ago, you had a Randy uh, scoring the way he's been scoring these last few games. Oh, well, these are best offensive player so it's it's pretty cool and 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 but that's what he is he's he's a, a really good hockey player so that's good you, you mentioned uh, rolling four lines and a couple of years ago you were one of the most balanced teams in the league in terms of double digit goal scorers and now you know you look at this road trip all the wins they're get they're coming from different lines every single night whether it was the Koivu line in LA or stall the other night tonight uh, Exxon from a coach that's really good you know if we can uh, add uh, the power play and penalty killing going great all the time and you have that then you got a, a recipe for a lot of success.